Hey, welcome to this Windows channel. And this is uh, this week we're going to continue uh, checking out the blue screen of death uh, errors and how to pinpoint what could be wrong. We uh, started that a few weeks ago, but I didn't have much time to complete it. So this week we'll, uh, of course, take more look, a closer look at you know error messages and what they mean and what you know you could use in the information to know what happened basically in your PC when it crashed. So it's not always easy. Uh, there are blue screens that uh, really typically don't say much. So um, it all depends on the blue screens that you have. So um, I'm, I've gathered here three common blue screen messages that you get when problems arise. So the first one is the page fault in non-page area, which is a probably the most difficult one to uh, find what is happening because it kind of you know happens everywhere. This page fault in non-page area error can happen with any type of crash, any type. So what's important to check when you get this type of message is the file associated with the error and the stop error. So basically that will give you a uh, little idea and if the file and the information is always the same uh, that helps because it really tells you so you can look here it says ATI 3 diagdll so um, by experience I know that this is related to the graphics adapter so an ATI card so there could be something wrong with the driver uh, there could be something wrong with the device itself. You got to remember that electronics can fail and two things can happen here. It's ATI is probably a graphics adapter from ATI. But the thing is, it could be the driver. The driver's bad. So, you know, you check for an updated driver, for example. Or, like I said, it does happen that it could be a hardware issue. It could be the graphics adapter that has a problem, a glitch. Maybe it's overeating and then crashing. Uh, and, and you gotta think that sometimes it could be an interaction of the graphics adapter and the motherboard. So it's uh, something that, you know, you gotta start and think at least pinpoint where it's happening. Uh, you can swap graphics card and see if it happens again or not. Of course, updating the driver, stuff like that. But Apart from the fact that you need that information about the stop error and the file that was um, the cause of the error, it's sometimes extremely difficult to know what page fault in non-page area will do. Another common one is driver IRQ not less or equal. Now that pinpoints directly to a driver. When that happens, two things can happen. It's either the driver that's installed that is that kind of has a flaw. Or it could be if the driver install doesn't have a flaw, it could be the hardware once again. So you got to remember that you know it's a kind of a two punch. It's it could be the driver, and you know 99% of the time it's probably a driver issue trying to find uh, a replacement driver. So you'll want to check what file. So here at tapi.sys, tapi is the driver or the file that associated with, for example, your drives like your uh, CD or DVD drive in your PC. Uh, so that will, of course, point to what maybe is happening. And, uh, of course, driver IRQ not less or equal is most of the time associated with a driver. At least it pinpoints quite directly. But once again, you got to remember, you know, people will say, oh, well, but it points exactly here. And why is it, you know, not that? Well, like I say, hardware issues can cause these types of error to happen also. And finally, unmountable boot volume pinpoints to simply a drive, a hard drive, a uh, USB thumb drive, or some kind of drive that isn't uh, mountable. So it has maybe uh, corrupted files. Maybe the file system is corrupted. You can use a check disk if you want to. Uh, scan the drive for any errors, stuff like that. Uh, failing hard drives will sometimes give you unmountable boot volume errors while loading Windows, for example. So, um, unmountable boot volume all pretty much always refers to 
um, a drive of some sort. So it could be, like I said, a USB thumb drive, a memory card. It could be a main hard drive of your PC. So these are examples of, you know, of probably what's the most common uh, blue screen error. So, uh, you know, check it out. So you already have a basic information. But the file associated with the stop message is very important. And uh, one last thing, if you are plagued with such errors, one of the things that you want to do, of course, is Google. So for example, here, if you have this message, well, you might want to check it out. So for example, here, I would go to Google. So I'd you know, take the web browser and I'd say, uh, okay, ATI3 uh, diag.dll um, error 0x0000050, something like that, and check out where it brings you. And uh, very often it will tell you what is, you know, you can try to find what is the problem uh, with that. So, uh, you know, check it out. It's one of the things that you need to do and you can Google error message. And remember, blue screens are not, you know, this is that and it's really, you know, uh, having a problem here. Sometimes it is a kind of a, there's a detour, you know, the error message you get is pointing to the problem, but the problem there is caused by something else. That unfortunately is something that happens. And of course, your best friend is the file. Knowing that the stop or the error message is always the same will help you. But if it changes all the time, that's really, really rough and very difficult to pinpoint. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up and hope you enjoy our little series on blue screens of debt that we will continue this week and explain a little more.